welcome back to Heels in Business. Now today I've got something special for you. I am going to do an apartment tour as promised and I am doing an apartment tour of that building. Now for those of you that have been following my story you know that I was supposed to be in America but that did not go as planned. We ended up moving out of our home into an Airbnb for about two months. That was hugely expensive so we decided to buy an apartment that we would live in and then that we could rent or sell when we leave. Now, this is the apartment that we picked all the way up there on the 16th floor is our apartment. It is a three bedroom apartment with one en suite and I'm going to share this with you. This development is from Western Homes. This is the first time we've ever purchased from them before we've purchased from Red Row and Barrett's. Um, it's very much in the style of London style living. Uh, it's one of the appeals and you'll see when I do the tour of the apartment, kind of that very modern feel. Um, in total, there's about nine apartment blocks, I believe, but I'll check that and we'll share kind of like the, the model of the whole development. Currently there are, there's this building that's occupied and then another one and they're starting only, I think this year, this block will start um, filling in with new residents. So this is the front of the apartment building. I'm going to start the tour now. Kind of wish I, st I filmed this in the summer when it was warm and not in the freezing cold. This will be where the concierge will be at some point. Um, and currently where most of our deliveries come. So this is the main living area, but we are going to start on my favorite part of this apartment, and this is the terrace. When I first came here, and I, I remember the, the day, my husband said, oh, should we check out this three bedroom apartment? Uh, because at that time we was only looking at the two beds and the only ones that they had available were a lot lower down and I'd already had appreciated the views that you got from those apartments and when I knew it was on the 16th floor I thought you know what we're going to be sold straight away and instantly as I walked in and I saw this I fell in love. We moved in here in the middle of August and it's now January 2021 and what's been really nice is the kind of the different views we've got from up here and in the height of summer the bright sunshine and you could see um, all the trees and then during autumn the different colours and then with the fog and the mist sometimes it, it literally feels like you're up in the cloud and the cloud is all around you which is pretty amazing. And then in the evening, sometimes we get some spectacular sunset views and different colours, orange, pink. Um, so any of you that follow my Instagram probably see a lot of my pictures of the views um, from out here. In the living room area, um, it's an open plan living with kitchen, living room, dining. Uh, we've set up our sofa TV area over here. Uh, so obviously we can enjoy the views but also get the sunshine right in our faces when we're watching TV to make us know that we shouldn't be watching TV, we should be enjoying the view instead, in fact. Over here should be where our dining table um, would normally be, but our dining room table is still in storage. So instead, we've got the cuddle chair, which I had planned on creating this kind of nice oasis of an area where I could look at the views, but instead it's ended up being more like a storage area for our mountain bikes. Uh, over the summer, both, well, my husband's into mountain biking anyway, but then I decided to learn how to cycle over the summer and got myself an e-bike. Yes, I learned how to cycle. I did not know how to cycle um, before this, well, 2020. Um, and I've been loving it. Scary, learning to cycle as an adult and feeling a bit embarrassed at times, but been loving it. This is the kitchen. Love the fact that we've got an island. It's something that I've personally always wanted in my home and would hope to have in more of my permanent home, not the like, temporary place. Um, but love this. 
in particular the fact that I can cook, have my gin and tonic at hand, look at the views and there's obviously the view out through the terrace but there's also this beautiful view out here. So in the main kitchen, um, much like most of the new builds now, it has an integrated washer dryer here. It actually dries really well for an in, um, com a combination washer dryer. Dishwasher, which you might be able to hear in the background right now because it's on. Um, love the sink here. I love the fact that we can actually use the hose, is that right? The hose around the sink. It's got a soap dispenser and also an instant water, hot water tap. So cold if I turn it this way, but also if I pull it out, you then get instant boiling hot water. So we don't actually use a kettle anymore. Um, brilliant. This is the third bedroom. This bedroom is used by my husband as his office and he would argue that he has the best views here. Um, I would say, yeah, his view, you'll see mine in a bit, but I do think he has one of the best views in this apartment. Um, beautiful. This is a storage cupboard, which has become really, really useful. And as you can see, it is packed full of stuff. Uh, with our things being in storage and knowing that we were going to be here a lot longer, we got our TV, um, speakers um, back out of storage. And essentially that's what you're seeing, the huge um, speaker boxes, scooter box, um, electric scooter box, and everything else that we've been living with uh, for the last nine months now. This is my room, well, my office that I use. Um, I've got my setup. I think I might have shared in another video of mine, but my office setup is pretty much how I had it back um, at our house. Um, and you can see how I've set up. I, I do believe I have a good view. Um, I can see, so over in that direction is the Kent Downs and that's the view that I get and it, it's been really interesting going from summer, autumn to winter because of the view has changed. This is the video entry so uh, when people are turning up I can, well I don't know if it will switch on now but when somebody calls the buzzer I can essentially see who it is and then let them up. Um, I like to tell people that we're just on the 16th floor, um, my husband thinks I'm crazy for saying that but I like to give them the impression that it's not too far up. This is a random cupboard, um, <laughs> a bit random, but I'm kind of glad that they've made it into a cupboard because we've essentially just stored random bits, mainly our shoes in there, um, but I guess coats, jackets could go in here as well. This is the main bathroom. Um, <laughs> We do have an ensuite, but the way that me and my husband live, I tend to have a bathroom for me and he has a bathroom for him. So I end up taking this bathroom mainly. Um, with the Western homes, the style was pretty much the same in every apartment. And one of the features that they have is this mirror where you can set the light on and off, demist. The taps are also digital. You'll notice digital taps here, digital shower as well. Um, it, it's, it's nice if it was a hotel. So the style is very much like you're in a hotel and it's good, but I don't know if I would personally pick a digital tap for myself, but there are conveniences. Like you can set it to your preferred temperature every time you switch it on. This is our master bedroom. And from here we have the view of the Kent, the North Kent Downs, army barracks, we can see allotments. It, it's really nice here because we span the entire length uh, of the building, we essentially get all the views around the building, which is quite interesting. So you, you essentially get a slightly different view depending on which room you're in. And often I'll just sit up here on the bed and watch the world go by, typically in the morning when my brain is way waking up and then 
Last but not least, this is the ensuite. So we consider this mainly my husband's room. And it's the same as the master, um, quite a large ensuite actually, but same digital tap, digital shower, rain head, is it rain head shower, I think that's called, attachment there. And then you can have these two extra bits blast you. But for me at my height, the top one just literally hits my face. So I don't really use it. So there you have it. This is the much awaited apartment tour. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've certainly enjoyed living here, um, the views, but also being close to the town centre. I've enjoyed running here, walks by the river. So it is certainly something I will miss when we finally do move to America. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and please comment below with your view on my view.